Muhammad Hijab uploaded a video about a so-called prophecy on his YouTube channel. Yes, the same Muhammad Hijab who fears for a tsunami of ex-Muslims. The same Muhammad Hijab who said that Elijah means... Also, the word Elijah in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us. And yes, the same Muhammad Hijab who said that Allah prays for, not to the Prophet. I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. This, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. According to Mr. Hijab, what did I say? And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. What did I actually say multiple times? Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. What's the correct translation? And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. Then Mimi Hijab came back and said, no, I made a mistake. I didn't meant to say Allah prays for, not to the Prophet. No, no, I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. But wait a second, Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, all praise is to Allah alone. Alhamdulillah faqat. Only and only for Allah is the praise in Islam. So instead of doing damage control, you made it even more worse for yourself, Muhammad Hijab. And you made it also a lot, a hell of a lot of worse for your own prophet. You just called Allah the slave of Muhammad. You are out of Islam, my friend. You just called Allah the slave of Muhammad. That means you are a worshipper. You are a slave of Muhammad. And Muhammad is God of Allah. Muhammad is your God. Are you a mushrik, Muhammad Hijab? Yes, you are. That means you are out of Islam. You just became an apostate. As we mentioned, Muhammad Hijab uploaded a new video on his YouTube channel where in the video is being mentioned that Muhammad made a prophecy about the end times, how the Arabs, how the Bedouin Arabs will construct tall buildings. Now, here we are going to refute that and show you that Muslims are nothing but liars and deceivers when they translate hadith. Watch. Now tell me of the last hour, asked the man. The prophet replied that you see the barefoot, unclothed Bedouins competing in the construction of tall buildings. Today we find in the Arabian Peninsula, the Bedouins who used to be impoverished herders of camels and sheep are now not only competing with one another, but also the entire world to construct the world's tallest building. Muslims are desperate to find just one prophecy from their self-proclaimed prophet Muhammad. When they think they found finally a prophecy that is maybe going to get fulfilled in the future, they are going to spam it everywhere on YouTube, including under the comment sections of Christian apologists like us. So this guy, Keksi, a Muslim, when he found out that Muhammad Hijab uploaded a video about a so-called prophecy that is going to be fulfilled in the future, in the end times, in the last days, he said, and I quote, Islamic prophecy is that one of signs of end of days will be Arab farmers competing in tall buildings. Now the word is not farmers, the word is shepherds. So how did farmers became shepherds? And as we mentioned, the hadith in the Arabic does not say tall buildings. This is a lie. This is a deception in the English translation of the hadith. So the word tall buildings is not in the Arabic hadith. To make it even more worse for this person, Keksi, and many other Muslims who are watching this video, 
Let us see what the Prophet of Islam, what he said about farmers. You're the one who mentioned the word farmers. Let me show you what your Prophet said about farmers and how he insulted farmers. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. It says, quote unquote, I saw some agricultural equipment and said, I heard the Prophet of Islam saying, there is no house in which these equipment enters except that Allah will cause humiliation to enter it. Humiliation to enter it? So according to this hadith from the mouth of Muhammad, it's an insult for Allah to have farming equipment and Allah will cause that house that has farming equipment in it, it he Allah will cause humiliation to enter that house that has farming equipment. Do you see what your prophet actually thought about farmers and farming? So actually it's an insult and Allah will cause you humiliation. Allah will humiliate your house if you are a farmer. So Allah will humiliate the house of a farmer. What have farmers done to Islam? What did farmers do to Allah? What did the farmers do to the Prophet of Islam? Well, we should ask ourselves here. Clearly, Muhammad did not like farmers. Muhammad wanted Muslims only to fight in the name of Islam, only to do jihad. Farming is for the weak. Farming is for non-Muslims. Muslims can only fight for Islam Jihad is the only work, as you see in front of you. We just explained to you how Muhammad thought that farming is nothing but an insult. And Allah will humiliate you and he will humiliate your house if you have farming equipment in your house as a farmer. Your only job is to do jihad fi sabil Allah. So doing jihad is the true work of a true Muhammadan Muslim. Farming is for non-Muslims and Allah loves to humiliate non-believers, right Muslims? So your prophet actually insulted farmers. Well, farming is actually a very honest job. Your prophet was actually being very nasty towards farmers. Now let us go back to the so-called prophecy and show you how Muslims actually lie when they translate Arabic hadith into English. They add their own words that are not there in the Arabic hadith. And we will prove to you that there is nothing called tall buildings and there is no prophecy that is mentioning tall buildings at all. So I went to Sahih al-Bukhari to find the same hadith as mentioned in Sunan Ibn Majah because Sahih al-Bukhari is much, much more authentic than Sunan Ibn Majah. Right, Muslims? If we read the following in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 7121, we can see the exact same words that are mentioned in Sunan Ibn Majah in the Arabic text. So the Arabic text says the following. Let me read it for you. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال وحتى يتطول الناس في البنيان Allah's Messenger said and this is the correct translation and until the people compete in construction compete in construction there is nothing called tall buildings at all in the Arabic text this is a lie this is a Invention, deception by the Muslim translators, by the Muslim scholars who translate hadith from Arabic into English. So they added their own words in the text that are not there in the Arabic original text. So as you see guys, we can conclude that Muslim translators, when they translate hadith or Quran, 
they always add their own interpretation, their own personal words inside the English text. So you can never ever translate a hadith as a Muslim translator without deception and the proof is in front of you. I challenge any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to show me where I'm lying. I read the Arabic as it is. You can go check it out. The hadith reference is mentioned and the proof is in front of you. So the non-Arabic speaking world on this planet, the non-Arabic speaking Muslims who do not know Arabic and that's more than 75% of the Muslim population who do not understand what the Arabic says are dependent on the lies, taqiyya and deception of Muslim translators. Today we refuted the so-called tall buildings, we refuted the so-called prophecy of Muhammad. There is no prophecy, it does not say what you say, it only talks about people competing in construction. Thank you for watching. Share this video around to expose the lies of Muslim translators. God bless.